Okay, I'm with Sutton Town after round four of the ENG Under 12s Youth Netball Premier League Southern Conference. Sutton Town, you come into this kind of knowing Watson had won back to back games previously. Um, a, a loss or a draw would have meant you, you're out of the title race. Um, you played Stars initially. Um, the, the Stars looked like they were the better team for the first couple of quarters. Third quarter, you come out, you, you showed your dominance, you showed your experience, you went up 24 20 going into the final quarter. What happened? The final quarter just you didn't turn up for. Um, it unraveled itself. Was it a technical thing? What was it? Because um, you looked so in control of that game up until the final quarter. So, what, what do you think it was that meant you went and got the loss in the end? It, well, just bad decision making and stuff? Yeah, stuff that we didn't actually need to do, stuff that we could have done differently, but just decided not to. And um, it, was that based on the fact, was that because of the emotional attachment to, to the score, or was it just laziness? What, what would you think was it? Not panicking. So it was being lazy or just kind of not thinking. Did you, did you go into that final quarter kind of with, with a sense of... The game's close, I'm nervous, um, we, we better stay focused. Or did you go into it thinking, we, we, we've, got, we've got this in the bag type of thing? What, what, what was going through your heads in that final quarter? We'll, we'll be like positive, we'll say, like, oh, come on, guys, we can do this, we can, we can try and win this. But then I think, like, in the back of our minds, we were kind of like, oh, we can try and win this. Yeah, once they started scoring it, you could see the tide turning in the game and five seconds to go, you know, for, for the entertainment value, brilliant, for your, for your poor hearts, not, not that great. <laughs> um, they're a good team, those stars. They proved a few weeks back when they played Watson in our Netball Cup, they can mix it with the best team. So it's not a, it's not a, a thing to be too concerned about losing to stars. Um, Turnford, we all expected a win against Turnford. 6-0 up. Um, in the first couple of minutes but then it, it all kind of died down and you allowed Turnford back into the game once Turnford kind of got in front they kind of stayed in front up until relatively into the end of the game how do you go from starting going up 6-0 a team of your quality sh going up 6-0 should really kind of stay, stay in front for large periods but that didn't happen what, what happened in that game? I think it was like when we, the pressure got to us, I think lots of people started to drop our heads and we like, didn't get a rebound or we didn't get a shot in. And then lots of more silly mistakes kept on happening and then we weren't doing things that we know we should be able to do. Um, you've gone from title chasers in a position now where you could actually drop out of the top four. Um, your final game is against Watson. <laughs> you may need to win that game or draw that game to stay in the top four. It's a, weird, it's a weird day because that is not what we expect of, of a team of your quality. Um, thoughts on that kind of outcome? You've gone from potentially playing Watson to win the title to playing Watson to staying in the top four. So how do you feel about that? Um, I think we just need to like go into the game just like calm, just not make silly errors, just like go ahead and game. If you have to win that game or draw it, do you feel you're good enough to do that? Yeah. But if, as long as only if like we don't. Cool. Well, a weird day at the office. Um, two one-point losses. I don't think that's ever happened to no team since I've been doing this this league. So um, it's one of those days. But Sutton Town, you're still incredible. Well done, and we look forward to seeing you on April the twenty-eighth. Thank you.